Hi, this is Richard. I wanted to show you a brief uh, demonstration of Hydro Resist. That's where you put a resist on greenware, on bone dry wear, and then once that's dry, you can wash it off, and where you have the resist, it'll stay high. Where you wash it, you'll erode the clay down lower, and it's a way of making it look like it's carved. Here's a small piece that was done that way. And you can see I used wax resist, and this is where the green is, is where I put the wax, and then I washed away with a sponge, and it lowered it. You get a very nice kind of soft line. There are different resists you can use. You can use shellac, which is thinned and cleaned with alcohol. It's good, it's non-toxic, and you get a very fine line, and it resists very, very well. Burns away cleanly in the kiln. You can use wax resist, and you can use a product called Mod Podge. That's what I've been uh, playing with, and it seems to work very well. It's an acrylic, and it's a craft material. It comes white. It almost looks like white glue. So you just take Mod Podge, or whatever, and you can draw on your piece. I'm going to put a little border here. Now, I suppose if you wanted to see it better, you could use some food coloring in the Mod Podge that would burn away. You just want something that burns away really cleanly. Now you can see right now it's kind of milky. Don't use it yet. Let that dry until it loses that white it looks like this. Then all you need to do is you get a sponge and some water and start scrubbing away. I'm going to put it over the water and go for it. Now this works best on a smooth clay body like a porcelain or an earthenware or we use a clay called B-Mix that can come without grog, which is a very good clay body. Uh, with a clay body that has grog or sand in it, as you're scrubbing it, what's going to happen? You can see how it's rising there? What's going to happen is you're going to scrub away the clay, and it'll be rough where you've scrubbed because you're taking away the clay and you're leaving the grog or the sand. This is a smooth bee mix so it's eroding really nicely. Now I found Mod Podge, shellac, they stay really well. Wax, sometimes some water will get in underneath and it'll start rise, raising on you. So be careful. Don't do it too, scrub too hard, too fast. And before long, you'll have a piece that looks like it's been carved. Now I suppose you could come back after doing this and put slip in there. You could color that. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And you just let it dry, fire, and the resist will burn away. I'll have a raised surface, then use a glaze that is transparent or semi-transparent to really show that the highs and lows that you've created.
So that is hydro resist. Also, I suppose it could be called hydro etching. Thank you.